Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today we'll be testing the G-Data Internet Security Suite. It's an antivirus company from Germany, G-Data, and let's take a look at their memory usage. Basically, it uses two different engines. One is, uh, I think, a fast, and the other one is Bitdefender. So, it uses two good engines. Now, they've got a lot of process, as you can see. But they're all using pretty low RAM, so I think we're getting a total of about, let's say, 15 to 20 megs of RAM or maybe even less. So it's doing pretty well when it comes to resource usage. I think it's about 15 megs. So it's pretty light on the system. I like that. Their old version was pretty heavy. But one thing I didn't like was the size of their installer, which was huge. There you go, it's 338 megabytes, which is really, really big for an antivirus. I think this is the biggest antivirus that I've seen so far. But they've got a lot of features. They use two engines, so I guess that's justified. Now, this turn phase, pretty simple. It's not too modern looking, but it's okay, I guess. They've got a firewall, spam, web protection, and you can see our CPU load here. If we check the advanced settings, you'll see that everything is set to stock and their zero-day component is basically the behavior monitoring. And you can see everything's just set to stock. There you go. Everything's in stock settings. So I guess we'll just get started with the test. Now I've got some links here. All of these are zero-day malware. And they're pretty new, so we'll see how Qi Data does. So let's try out the first one. Okay, so first one can be opened. Let's try the next one here. Okay, now there you go. This one was blocked by their web blocking. It says that it's denied access. And it says that it's been caught by Engine A as Win32, Tenga, or whatever it wants me to say. There you go. It gives me a pretty simple alert. I like their alert system. It's pretty simple. So I think I've got 13 links. So even if we've got one or two that don't work, I think we'll be fine. So that's number two, counting the first one as dead. So while the second one's working in the background, let's try out. Next one here. Okay. Now this is another application. Looks like this one was blocked as well. Or maybe not, because I did get the file to run. Here we go, it wants access to my computer and I'll allow it that. There you go, it's some kind of adware I guess. See what kill switch tells us, still being analyzed. So while we're waiting for this, let's try out the next one. No, I guess I opened the same one again. So here we go, this is the next one. And this one has been given an unknown rating by Kill Switch, so it doesn't know it yet. And there you go, it's an adware as you can see, it's asking me to install the Babylon toolbar. And it's going to automatically install and download and install some stuff. So I guess that's uh, fair enough to call it adware. Now this is the next one, it seems like some Trojan. Let's run this.
Now this one wants uh, administrator privileges as well. Okay, now it's being analyzed by kill switch and there you go. It's covered up the screen. It's probably another piece of adware here. So I guess I'll let it run in the background and we'll carry on with the links. Okay, it's done anyway, so let's try the next one here. As you can see, the first installer, which is probably a piece of adware, is still running in the background. It's not there in the taskbar, but here you go, it's still running. And it looks like this one was blocked as well by GData. There you go. Or no, maybe not. Run that. Okay, so let's wait and see what happens. And meanwhile, let's... Okay, now this one went full screen but I don't see anything much here it might be a false positive and the reason I think it's a false positive is that the name was pretty strange and it seemed to suggest uh, that it was Trojan with the name itself there you go Trojan Hearts Report .exe, so it's pretty strange very few pieces of malware would have a name like that so Maybe it's false positive. So let's wait for this to start. And let's try the next one in the meantime. And again, I'll answer this, yes. We'll run this as well. I guess we've got a lot of adware today. Okay, it's some adware again, I guess. Okay, now this one has been blocked. So it's trying to download some stuff and it's been blocked as adware. So I guess that's So let's try the next one here. Okay, I'll run this. Okay, now this strange again doesn't look like malware, but we'll find out at the end if it was a piece of malware or not. Okay, so that one, finally we've got this. So we'll run whatever we can from here. Okay, now there you go. This one's been detected. Okay, this one was blocked by their web blocking. Now, this setup has been detected as malware by Kelswitch, but it wasn't detected by GData. So, certainly we've got one piece of malware that's gone through here, but it did block this one right here. So, I guess we'll just carry on from there. This one was blocked, so we'll try out the next last one.
Okay, so it's some kind of file, so I'll just save it. Okay, so this one, there you go, it's a piece of adware trying to install some stuff within its actual installer. There you go, it's downloading some survey, it's going to install some stuff. Process is going to keep on going forever and ever. So right now, there you go, it looks like there's some kind of banker, here we go. This is some kind of Trojan banker. There you go. It's got stuck on my screen and I can't remove it. And looks like it's stuck on my screen pretty badly here. I can't even see my taskbar or try to remove this. Now, the only way to stop this is, in fact, there is no way. I can't even access kill switch. As you can see, I'm clicking here, but you can see nothing. So this has basically blocked my computer straight away, so I have no choice but to reset my machine and try to remove this in safe mode. Only then we can continue with the test, so I'll be back in safe mode. Now, well, 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 as you can see, I'm in safe mode, and this is what I get. This tr big Trojan banker screen, and... I don't know which language it is, most probably it's Russian. And there you go, it, I can't get it out of my screen or do anything about it right now. No matter what I do, the only way to get the system up and running again is probably by using a rescue disk. And I'm not going to use a rescue disk right now for a GData review. So this is basically a failure from GData. As you can see, it can successfully protect the system. It left this one big Trojan banker that's probably gonna cause lots of trouble, so it's not doing well. I don't know, they probably have pretty good signatures, but these were all pretty fresh malware and their zero day didn't seem to be responsive at all. So I'm sorry I can't even do the file test today. I had got some malware, but I won't be able to test it because of this one big piece of Trojan banker now. And there's no, not much of a point because it's a failure for me because it's already the system's pretty badly infected so not much of a point trying to test it after removing this. So you saw what happened when this computer was being protected by GData. So I'm sure I won't recommend it right now. I think they have to work on their zero day first. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this saw some action here so just have a good day and goodbye